Hey everybody, Cousin Jim. I'm here at Point Loma Sport Fishing again here in San Diego. I've had several people ask me to go out on the Daily Double. Well, it's been out of the water being serviced, but it's back. It fits my schedule today and I'm going. We're fishing deep today. I just met Eric here. He told me we're fishing deep and I needed 16 ounces of weight. So I got set up here. I got two of these bad boys. We are going to get loaded up. We're going to catch a bunch of rockfish today. Rockfish opened up April 1st. So I ha I've caught a bunch of them lately, but haven't kept any of them. So tonight I'm having rockfish for dinner and Eric's the guy that's going to get me there. So if you guys like these videos, hit the subscribe button. It's easy to go fishing down here in San Diego. Go out on the Daily Double. This is considered a half day. I think it's about six hours. Bring your whole family. We're going to have a blast. But today, the Daily Double. Several of you people have asked me to go fish the Daily Double. She's been out of the water for some maintenance. Uh, she's back in fit my schedule today so I just drove down here to San Diego to see what we could get accomplished I think we're gonna catch a pile of rockfish okay so today we are fishing supposedly six to seven hundred feet deep so we're gonna start off with a 16 ounce weight that's one pound of lead then I got a couple dropper loops up above. So that is what we're going to do to start the day. Okay, so to start the day, one pound of lead weight down here on the bottom. And up from that, got a dropper loop with a circle hook and a dropper loop with a J hook. I don't know which works better. We're gonna see. I'm running, I don't know, 30 pound uh, fluorocarbon. And then I have 30 pound braid. I'm fishing my Avid MXL 6-4. It's a two-speed reel. Um, I've caught a lot of tuna on it. I've caught a lot of uh, rockfish on it. But rockfish season just opened up, April 1st. Uh, today is like the 13th, 13th or so. So I have not been able to legally keep a rockfish. I haven't kept any this year, but, but we're ready to get out there and see what happens. Uh, then the other rod that I brought is a 20 pound rig. And this is, uh, SX and since we're 600 feet deep I don't know how much line I've got on there we'll have to see what happens this is not the normal fishing that I do but I want to make you guys a great video several people requested that I fish on the daily double so that's what we're gonna do Zach, we're his, it's his first day fishing, ocean fishing. He's a lake fisherman, trout, bass, crappie, all that kind of stuff. But today we're going to get his first ocean fish. How old are you, Zach? 13. 13, all right. So Zach just asked me about the GoPro that I'm shooting with, and it is a GoPro 9. I just bought the GoPro 12 last night. I went to hook it up. I am not technologically advanced to get through all the stuff they needed to get it hooked up. So they wanted me to sign into their app and then the app didn't recognize the camera. And so I got to go someplace where they sell that thing to show me how to do it. So what's the biggest fish you ever caught, Zach? A bass or trout? How big a bass? Oh, I think you're going to get your biggest fish today then. I think you'll catch one bigger than that. A red rock fish? It'll be down deep, but you'll get him. Is that your dad with you? What's his name? 
Adam. Adam? Yep. All right. Well, Adam sure is nice to meet you guys. I met you up on the dock, but we're gonna get we're gonna get Zach some camera time today. Okay, people, you always want to see what goes on on these boats. We're just leaving the dock now. We got Jason back here. He's cooking for us today, and um, we got Pat over here, and he's eating for us today. Yeah. How is it, Pat? It's very good. What'd you get for breakfast? I had the breakfast plate, and it's over easy, and it's food of the gods. <laughs> and Jason made it just how you want it? Yeah, yeah. There you go. So all these trips, there's usually a galley on here. You get burgers for lunch, a lot of times breakfast burritos, egg sandwiches, that kind of stuff. Over here we've got um, Zach, right? Yeah. It was Zach, right? Yeah. Okay. And what did you get today, Zach? I got the breakfast plate. The breakfast plate? Yeah. With your eggs scrambled? Yeah. There you go. So anyways, we have a great time. How long have you been working this boat? What is going on my six year on this boat? Six years on this boat? Yeah. And how many years have you been cooking on boats? Uh, my first year I was up in Oceanside. I started as a cook and then uh, came down here. I've been doing deck for the last four or five. And uh, our cook went, did something else. And so I'm like, I'll step in. So I went working all the time and do both deck and galley. Okay. So when we get on the fish today, you'll be out on deck with oh, us? Yeah, I'm about to go out there right now and get things squared away here. I don't like to spend too much time down here. I want to be out there with you guys. You're a true fisherman then? Yeah. What do you do on your day off? It's usually sleep. Okay. <laughs> like especially this time of year when we're going to start running double half days or 14 hours a day. You don't really have time to... Yeah, eat. you have time to work and sleep. Yeah. And you got to right. make hay while the sun shines. So you have to slow time in the winter and you have to busy time in the sun. Okay. Cool. Thanks, Jason. You're welcome. Alrighty, so what we're going to be doing today is we're fishing rockfish anywhere from 300 feet of water all the way on out to 600 feet of water. Uh, what we're going to be doing for the most part today is we're going to be uh, live boat fishing. The captain's going to be on the controls. What that means is we're going to spread out all the way around the boat, except directly off the back, and we're going to be dropping down to the bottom. You guys are just going to stand in place and fish right there. Uh, once the captain does say bombs away, let him go. That's your cue to drop a line in the water. If you drop a line in the water early, it's not going to do you any good. There's no fish. Um, we do need to get the boat stopped to get down to the bottom to hook these rockfish. However, it's never a bad time to put bait on your rod. It's always a good time to have bait on the rod ready to go. I recommend the squid. There is a little bit of live bait. I wouldn't use it. It's going to fall off the hook at 600 feet down. It's also not going to be very lively 600 feet down. The squid's got better action down that deep. Um, so I'd recommend just using that. All right, at this point I'm baited up, ready to go. Stand by until the captain gives me the word to drop my line in the water. Once I do hear, okay guys, bombs away, let him go. I'm gonna put my thumb right here on the spool. That's the area with the line on it. I'm gonna kick that lever back. Lever back lets the line out, but if your thumb's not on the spool, this will get all tangled up on the reel. Your thumb slows down the spool from going too fast. All right, so thumb on the spool, kick that lever back, ease your thumb off all the way till you hit the bottom. You know you're at the bottom when you have loose slack line at the end of your rod tip. Um, if the current's really ripping, it might slowly start to leak out. It might be kind of hard to feel the bottom. If you're not sure you're down there, call one of us over. We'll let you know if you're at the bottom. Usually it takes about two minutes. Even though we have a pound of weight on the end of these rods, it takes about two minutes to hit the bottom. Long time. So, I'm going to spool lever back all the way down. Once you guys hit the bottom, there's a lot of stretch in this monofilament line, this clear line. I recommend taking 20, 2, 0, 20 cranks of the handle, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 20. That gets all the stretch out of the clear line, and a lot of times those fish at the bottom, they're biting right the second you hit the bottom. So, I'm going to spool lever back, drop to the bottom, take your 20 cranks. If you feel like there's a fish on there, if you feel like it's heavier than your one pound weight, just keep on winding. If you don't feel like there's a fish on there, drop it back down. You're just off the bottom, so it's not that far. Once you hit the bottom, feel for the bites. Give you a little tap on the rod. Give be your whole pole getting pulled down. Um, anytime you think you might have a fish on there, just start turning that handle. The best way to check to see if you got a fish on the hook is just to turn the handle. Some of you guys might be used to freshwater fishing, doing one of these maneuvers to set the hook. At 600 feet, all, the, all that motion gets transferred into the stretch of the line end up not moving your hooks at all if you do one of these maneuvers. It all just stretches on the line. The best way to set the hook, take those cranks, turn the handle. Usually about 15 cranks is what it takes to set the hook. Just turn that handle. Once you've got it coming up, slow, steady wind. If you pump the rods, you dump the fish, just keep your rod tip up and turn the handle. Slow, steady. If you wind too fast, you're going to spin the fish off your hook. They float up to the surface and go away. All sorts of stuff like that. If you do get your fish up, I, don't, don't wind your hooks all the way to the tip of your rod. All you need is about your weight right here. Lift it up over the rail, bring it onto the boat. And uh, we'll take it 
take the fish off for you and put them in the burlap bags around the bait tank. Okay, here we go. First drop of the day. I have no idea how deep we are. Drop in. Set a drop. Everybody's dropped over here. That's past 200. Yeah, if you haven't dropped there, go ahead. Sorry, the bike wasn't working for a second. Go ahead. Here goes 300 feet. There, we're on the bottom at 300. You don't need to set the hook and rock fishing, just turn the handle. Turn the handle. Got bit. There's a bite. Fish about Justin. We're we're right at 300 feet. My 300 mark is just below the below the surface there. Got one on there? Uh, I might have took my baby. I, I keep getting bit, but whatever it is must be little because I am not getting hooked up. There we go. A couple rockfish coming up. And I was getting bites and I got all my bait still. All right, I got some bites, but I did not get hooked up. Let's see if you got one. It's a long ways down there, isn't it, Zach? Keep reeling. Yeah, I do, I do. You got one, Zach. I got one. Yeah, First saltwater fish. Yeah. Excitement galore. Yeah. Way to go, Zach. There you go. There we go, Zach. Hold that thing up, man. Red rock fish. Yeah. We keep a rush here, we put it back in the rack. Sweet. What do you think, buddy? Here, hold him up. You like him? Good job, buddy. Here we go, second drop of the day. It went 200 feet. Boat's spinning around a little bit here. Did you get hooked up that fast? No, I just. There, I just. I just hit bottom. there there we go first one on it's a long ways down and it's a heavy weight we're gonna see what's coming up though I'm betting on a red rockfish can't tell how big they are because the weight weighs so much if you're down there you're getting bit Here he comes. Yep. I guess, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was looking at the blue line attached. Number. 
Here, let me see. All right, there's a, my first rockfish of the day. Nice. Number three. Three. So what fish is that? Gotcho. A gotcho? Bacaccio. Bacaccio. And that's another Bacaccio down there. Okay, the captain found a little rock that he's never fished before. That last drift, I got a, a red rock fish. We saw some Bacaccios come up and we're gonna get right over that rock and drop and we're only gonna have a minute or two of uh, drift. But the fish were pretty nice that came up. Okay, this is my third or maybe even fourth drop. I've got one red rock fish in the bag. There's the bottom. We are there. There's a little bite. There we go, and we got him. I got on the bottom. I got bit almost instantly. So now, got to bring him up 300 feet. Let's see what we got. I'm betting on a red rock fish. Yeah. Big red. Not big. Hopefully that's what we aim for. I hope, but I don't <laughs> think so. It feels like I'm fighting a one pound weight right now. <laughs> He's still on there though, because he is pulling. I wish he'd start floating sooner. Probably just floating up with your weight now. No, he's, he's actually pulling. Still fighting? Yeah. Was it on a squid or the knee? Yeah, a squid. And your first name was what? Justin. Justin. Okay. Your name? Cousin Jim. Cousin Jim. Nice to meet you, buddy. Oh, oh a pacat. Fishy. Big white fish. That might be my personal best in a white fish. That is a white fish, right? Yeah. Well, let's drop down and see if we can get another one. Send three. We must be off of it because nobody's getting bit. Zon, what'd you get there, buddy? A rosy rockfish. A rosy rockfish. Nice, beautiful little fish, isn't he? Yeah. You gonna eat him? They're good eating. That little rosy rockfish there is good eating. Yeah, they're young. Make a fish stick out of him. He said this is 500 feet deep. So we're fishing right at 300 before. So this is down there. Just letting that one pound weight just rip on out. Should be getting down there now. Been dropping for two minutes maybe. This feels kind of like sword fishing there in Florida. She is. There's the bottom. We went slack. There's a bite. We had a little nibble. 600 feet down. Didn't look like much in the rod tip. There it is. No, we did not. <laughs> Looks like he's hooked up next to me. Either that or he's got the bottom. Yeah, I don't... The tire. I think I 
misty. It's so far down, I don't want to reel it up and check. <laughs> you can see how much line is off my reel. I had six or seven little bites. Is there a way to do this faster? I'm still 300 feet down. I just passed my 300 mark. There's 200 on. Doubled up. Doubled up, big boy. Way to go. Oh, hell yeah. There we go. There's another monster coming up. Take a picture. We got him on YouTube. Oh, and I got a monster. What do you think, Matt? Uh, a decent one. <laughs> what you got, Zach? Hey, one. That one's bigger than the one I just caught. Yeah, Woo! What number on that one, brother? All right, back up here. I'm checking in with Ray and Ziggy. Yeah. Uh, how are you doing, Ray? All right, all right, man. How many you got? Uh, two. Two? Two small ones. Two, two little bitty tacos? Yes, sir. How about you, Ziggy? <laughs> I got one. Sure. At least you're not going to starve. Yeah. <laughs> I got two. Absolutely. Actually, actually, I just caught one that's so little, but it was probably four inches long. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, I did. Yeah. But we're having fun, aren't we? Yes, sir. That's for sure. It's better than being at work. Yes, sir. <laughs> hey. Captain just said 450 oh. feet. Straight down there. Past 300, probably past 400. I ought to start getting pretty close, I think. There, there's the bottom. We're down. Right, well, then I gotta be close, right? <laughs> I don't know. If you're letting it fall direct, yeah. I was. I was not applying any. There you are, definitely on the bottom. Come on, fish. I don't want to be waiting all day for a bite. Let's go. I want a bigger one. Come slam this bad boy. You got one on? Something just bumped me down there. Uh oh, somebody's got me. It's not me, I've been reeling for a minute. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, see, I'm slack. Come on, let's see some color. Yeah, that's a shark. Well, something's not good here. I have a feeling it's you and I, buddy. No, I've been reeling for a minute. Now. I know. I've been feeling weird for a minute. Now I got weight again. I'll send it back down. Tip's really soft so I can feel it. 
soft tip, strong back. That's yeah. what I like. Yeah, all three of my rods are the PCHs. I got a 20 pound rig, this 30 pound rig, and a 60 pound rig. I caught a 170 pound bluefin two weeks ago on the 60, so. Well, I'm gonna bring this in. I haven't had a bite in a while, so I'm sure they got all my bait. Now I'm gonna come up and have two full squid heads, though. You're coming in again? Yeah. Uh-oh. Well, this isn't quite as bad as bringing both baits up from 500 feet. But being stripped clean, I don't know. Save some pussy for the rest of us. This looks like a possibility right here. Let's step over and see if the Zach man has one. What do you think? He's deep, that's for sure. Come on, Zach. We're burning time. <laughs> 500 feet's a long ways, isn't it? It's like a 50 story building. You getting there? Good. It's not like trout fishing, is it? Okay, here comes some leader. With the yellow tail right in front of him. Come right towards us, actually. It might have fallen off because it's still really heavy and then. Yeah, it got lighter. I saw that. Either that or he's floating. Oh, gone. It goes 300 feet. There we go. I think I got another one on. Get it, man. Get it. Hope he didn't come off when I stopped and turned the camera on. At this depth, you just can't really tell. Once they start coming, you just got to keep them coming. 100 feet just came on. Just a minute ago, I was looking at the the wind by the sailors, and I said there were molas eating them all. While well, this guy's in eating them, but there were millions of them last summer. And I was just white too. Well, now they're usually got the blue on them. I've seen way more clear looking ones today. How's it going today, man? Uh, it's it's going a little bit, not super great yet, but we got time. You know what? I got enough fish for dinner already. I'm happy. I would like a lot more fish, but yeah. we yeah. will see. We got plenty of time here. Let's load the boat for you. There we go. Beautiful red rockfish. Look at that guy. Oh, yeah. I just trying to find an area that I want to think it's going to be productive here, everybody. I've been seeing a lot of apparently in some areas that we. You hooked up, Pat? Yeah. All right. You hooked up? Yeah, yeah we are. And your first name was? Carrie. Carrie. Oh man, we got a double going here in the front of the boat. Yeah, mine's not all that exciting. Hey, it's exciting, isn't it, Matt? Uh -huh. We're happy to be out here. Oh man, maybe we got a third one on. Is that a fourth one? You got one? Yeah. All right. Keep, number nine so far. Keep coming. Number nine? Holy mackerel, you might be out fishing everybody on the boat then. I just thought I'd come and get everybody catching a fish, so it looks like this might be the right stop to do that on. Yes. Oh, it looks like we got another hook up there mid rail. What is coming up? 
It only took two minutes to drop it down. How come it's taking longer to bring it back? I wonder why. I didn't invest oh, in <laughs> Sailfish are easy. You back the boat down to them. <laughs> Old bill fishing. How do you catch a billfish? Oh, you just kind of drive the boat towards it. Yep. And wait for it to get tired. Mine's getting smaller by the moment. The closer it gets up. There we go. There's one. Rockfish off the front of the boat. Oh, there we go. A sand dab and a rockfish in somebody else's line. Yeah. Jump in, guys. Hold on, let that hang. And what have you got, Pat? Oh, uh, one medium rock. Oh, oh yeah. look at that. Doubled up. Doubled up on barely keepers. Yep. Oh, and there's an. There's two more over here. This was the stop to take a picture. Good job, guys. And then we're up here with Zach's dad. He's still tr struggling along. Yeah, I'm buying an electric grill next time. There you go. What is that guy? Chili pepper rockfish. A chili pepper rockfish. Okay. There it is. Let me show it to Zach. Can you lip him? Can I do it down there? Yes, yeah, sure. Go walk down there if you want to. Yeah. Yours looks small compared to that yeah, one. Okay, <laughs> you got one coming up? I believe so, yeah. All right. We just saw a big old chili pepper, maybe four pounds come off the front. Really? Yeah. Why not? Everybody's been catching those little dinky rockfish, and then he brought in a big one. I think this is going to be a gold a goldfish, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> At least I stopped on the right time to just film rather than fish. Yeah. There we go, another sand dab. And is, is that what they call a chili pepper? Uh, I don't know, I think so. I, don't know. I think that kind of looked like the one that the guy just caught that was much bigger than yours. <laughs> Oh yeah, here he comes. One on the bottom. My goldfish. <laughs> there we go. Got him. That is a really nice looking fish. Yeah, that's a really nice chili pepper right there. Yep. <laughs> well, I got hit before I got to the bottom. Nice. There we go. So, so now I'm not so sure because I got hit before I got to the bottom. That doesn't look good. Did you get that one, Zach? Yeah. Nice fish. What were these, number eight? Number eight? Okay, I got one this time. No doubt about it. Okay. I didn't even get to the bottom. I got bit before I got down. And that's what they say is going on 30, 40 feet off the bottom. Guys, they're biting. Get them down there. Comes. Oh, you were pulling on my line. Yeah. Turn those guys this way, man. Let's get them on YouTube. There we go. Nice fish. There's the bottom.
two nice ones next to me. And I'm hooked up to something. This one might be a little bigger. He's fought all the way up. Might be a red or a chili. Mexican rockfish. And I lost my weight. I'm freaking lucky. There's a double coming, a single, another single. We are on fire on the daily double out of Point Loma. Ziggy, what you got on there, buddy? Nothing yet. <laughs> Whew. This 550 feet is deep. I'm tired of reeling every time I come up. Okay, you still got 200 feet to go. Just past the 200 mark. Looks like we got nothing. Has a long ways for nothing. There's the bottom. There's the bike. There's a 30. I'll cut all this off for you. Okay. You want the weight first or last? Uh, I usually do it last. Okay. Yeah, come up again right there. Yep. Hey, look at the whale right there. Look at the whale. Fin back whale. Right over Zach's shoulder. Yeah. No, no, no. You're not putting that back. Yeah. I'm going to hold it. Right. Keep your eyes out there. We're out on a whale watching tour now. There he is. Oh, there we go. Finally, a real one. Did he stay on? I don't think so. Oh, maybe. <laughs> Probably. There's a nice one coming up right there. Is that yours, Pat? Another one coming up over there. There we go. Nice little double there, Pat. Good job, buddy. Way to go. We'll take those. There we go, double coming up. Finally. Who am I hooked up with? Hey. Okay, hold on. Hey Matt, I'm gonna need some help here. Let me go underneath you. I'm, they got me over here somewhere. No, I had a fish coming up. I'm hooked up to somebody. Anyway, you can give me some slack. Yeah, whatever you need. Here we go in this way for YouTube when you're done. Okay. Here we go. Oh yes. Hey buddy. Hey. We got like 25 fish between us. I know you guys are doing yeah, good. Yeah, like 30. Oh. Those are nice. I didn't get one of those. Those are nice fish. All right, there we go. Pat just got another double. This man is on fire. There we go. Another double just came on board. Way to go, buddy. So how'd you like that last bite? That was a good one. That was a good one. Did you catch any big ones, Ziggy? I got two. Good. How about you? I caught plenty. Yeah. Good size. I'm tired of reeling. Yeah. That's... I'm tired of reeling up with nothing too though. <laughs> hey Zach, tell me about the day. How was it? 
You caught 23? I think so, yeah. Wow. I got a lot. How many did your dad catch then? 